This is a great movie. You're not gonna regret it. You're gonna wanna skip this movie. Have you ever wondered what movie should I see this weekend? Well, we're here to help. It's on cinema at the cinema. Hi everybody, happy Thanksgiving. My name is Tim Heidecker. Welcome to another episode of On Cinema at the Cinema. It's a new web series where we talk about what movies are coming out this weekend and hopefully give you guys a little advice about what's worth seeing and what's uh, worth staying away from. Every week I bring on a guest and today my guest, a very cool guest, Mr. Greg Turkington. Hey guys, always good to be here as a regular guest. This week, we've got two movies to talk about. And by the way, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I always love going to see movies around Thanksgiving uh, because the family's around. And sometimes we'll just say, you know, instead of doing the dishes after Thanksgiving meal, let's just go see a movie. So we'll all go out to the cinema. It's uh, fun. The first movie is a remake called Red Dawn, which is a movie about people who are uh, being attacked by Russians. In this case, it's the North Koreans. And these teenagers fight back, and I won't give away the ending, but it's a happy ending. So um, they are attacked by Russia, or Korea, and there is a, it is a remake, and it's um, a lot of tension, a lot of action, a lot of great acting, and a lot of fun. Did you ever see the original with uh, uh, Bridgie Nelson, I think, was in it? And uh, it's, it's on video. You, yeah, you got to see seen the original. original. So that's you, Red Dawn. Do you like it better? Or? Uh, I like. I always prefer the remakes because uh, it's a better movie, and uh, you can tell because the CGI and the technology. And no commercials. When you watch the originals, it's usually on TV, and you have to sit through a lot of commercials. So it's fun just to go to the movies and watch it the way the filmmakers intended. Right, uh, and they don't cut out the scenes with boobs and curse words and everything too. Also, we got to see this one. This was kind of special. We got to see this a couple days before it came out. Special sneak preview, and that was the first time I've been to a. Hollywood sneak preview and it's kind of cool. Yeah, well a lot of times you'll get invited uh, to see whether or not the movie's working and sometimes they'll change movies it's got a, like a focus group. Um, well this one is good so there was no reason to tinker with success. Right, so I'm giving Red Dawn five pops corn, uh, five bags of popcorn and it's uh, and no sodas. I'm gonna give it four bags of popcorn and maybe just a cup of water. And it's directed by Dan Bradley. So. And it's definitely a popcorn movie. There's a lot of thrills and chills and spills, and we like that sort of thing on this show. And good cinematography, and, um, you know, it's a long movie, but it, time flies when you're having fun. I had a lot of fun at Red Dawn, and I think you will too. And it's R-E-D-D-A-W-N, not D-O-N. All right, our next movie on the list is uh, called Life of Pi. And I know you're thinking, mmm, dessert, pie, but this is actually the, the uh, dessert, not dessert, it's the P.I. from math. Uh, and it's based on a book, not Private Detective either. Uh, it's, uh, which I suppose would be a good idea for a movie. Uh, be interesting to see what a P.I. does. Have you seen Fletch? Yes. Fletch, Chevy Chase. Or Bogey. A bogey. Uh, from the Bogey movies. Um, Life of Pi. Didn't know much about this movie. And uh, this is based on a very popular book about an Indian boy who's trapped on a boat with a lion or a tiger, something like that. And this was a weird movie, for sure. One of the weirdest movies I think I've ever seen. Uh, had a very philosophical touch to it. And I appreciated the acting and I loved this movie. Well, with all the animals in it, they could have called it Animal House, too, because it was <laughs> just filled with animals. And if you love animals, if you're an animal lover, and I know I am, you like this movie. Um, I like the Fletch movies better, but I would still recommend this. You have to admit, though, it's really weird. It's very strange, but I've seen a lot of strange movies. Um, uh, one of my all-time favorite movies is Napoleon Dynamite, and uh, it doesn't get much weirder than that. But this one tries, and it's a lot of fun. Um, I wouldn't say it's for everyone. Probably someone that's looking for a sports movie wouldn't like this movie, but right. the rest of you will. So go check out Life of Pi. Well, Life of Pi, very weird, but very well done by the great cinematographer, director, Ang Lee. And I think I'm, this is going to be definitely, you got my vote. If anyone's voting for Oscar, this is going to win Oscar. And it's a little, I give, a little too weird for the Oscars. I give it six, uh, four popcorn bags. So check it out if you like the weird stuff. I'm going to give it five bags of popcorn and, I don't know, some sort of strange snack. How about... Um, like salt... Uh, have you had those, uh, those little crackers that are wrapped in seaweed? Oh, uh, yeah, like tofu. <laughs> yeah, no, they're just crackers. 
All right. Uh, well, if you can't make it out to the film this weekend, you got too many dishes to wash after Thanksgiving. Uh, yeah, you're not we, working. You should be able to get to the pictures this weekend because right. nobody works on Thanksgiving. Uh, we do this segment every once in a while called Popcorn Classics, and Greg has brought in a movie from his home library to recommend. Greg, what have you brought in this week? I'd say put the dishes in the dishwasher, turn it on, and reach into your video cabinet and pull this thing out, as I did. Um, we, um, this is Twilight Zone the movie. Now last week we talked about the Twilight Saga, and this is sort of the original Twilight Saga, the mm -hmm. Twilight Zone. Uh, it was a TV show, and it was very different from the Twilight that we know today. Uh, the Twilight Saga came from a popular series of books. All right. Well, that, so that was based on the TV show, then the Twilight Zone, and then the, twi the Twilight Zone. The movie is based on Twilight Zone, the TV series. Okay. And Twilight, uh, the Twilight movies are based on books. Have nothing to do with this movie, which stars Dan Aykroyd. All right. All right. Well, if you want to get a copy of Twilight Zone, the movie, check out Blockbuster or the video stores, uh, or maybe it's even going to be on Amazon.com or eBay is a place you can bid. Uh, you place your bid, and if your bid's accepted, then you pay for it. You don't pay for it until then. All right, well, if you are going to see the movies, we both recommend Red Dawn and Life of Pi. I gave Red Dawn... Five. You gave it five. I gave four bags of popcorn and one soda, and Life of Pi, I gave five bags and two sodas. And I gave Red Dawn four bags and Life of Pi five bags, and watch them both if you can. Oh, a double feature. Thanks again for watching and enjoy the film. It's important to remember this.